the NBA season ended. We got to give out NBA season awards. Let's start it off with the MVP, man. Who you guys got? Who wants to start? When I count it off, we all say it at the same time, right? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Joel Giannis. Giannis. It's Giannis. Ooh. Giannis for MVP, just because the Bucks have the best record. The second best player on the Bucks is Chris Middleton. He's only played 33 games this season. Giannis had a crazy good interview yesterday with Chris Haynes, just explaining how, you know, he's been deserving of the past five MVPs. And the two MVPs that he won was his worst statistical season. So for him to be averaging, what, like 33 right now, like 11 and five, like. He's the first person ever to do that, um, to average those numbers by shooting 50% or better. So. I get it. I could see why, you know, you could put him number one. And it's like, yep. it's kind of like that Voters fatigue thing. It's like, you forgot about Giannis. Arguably best player in the league right now. Best team in the league. Probably have the cleanest route to just the NBA finals. So that's my pick. But the NBA is all about narratives. And the narrative is Joel right now. It's the way he finished the season. Um, he gave the Celtics like 50 plus, basically. Um and he finished the season on the heater. Uh, he averaged a league best 33 points per game. Um, I don't think they want to give Jokic, you know, three straight MVPs. So I think the narrative is headed in Joel's um, way. We also came up with our own categories for NBA awards. Let's start it off with the All Menace Award. Ooh. Aruni, let me know who do you think will win All Menace this season? Easy choice. Dylan Brooks for... <laughs> You know, just being the player that he is, um, not only was he just in a lot of squabbles, but uh, coming through with the fits, coming through with just all kinds of quotes, post game, pre game, talking crazy about Draymond and his podcast. I think he is all men as first team. It had to be something in the water in Memphis because his teammate, John Morant, is up there. He's probably MVP of the Menace, all Menace team, you know, like getting caught in the club, bringing out, you know, the, the little toy gun, basically. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go with job, ja, man. Yeah, everything on the line. Like, you just signed the contract. You have a signature shoe coming out, and this is what you do. And then it's all the other stories that's happening as well, besides, like, the strip club incident. I like Pat Bev uh, on this one. He's politics, just politics. relentless with his trash talking, his antics, which leads me into the next category, meme of the year. I have three in mind, but I'll start off with this one. Uh, the Thomas Bryant photo when LeBron broke the record. And you have oh. in the back. That's a good one. For the ball. That's a good one. <laughs> like, what are you doing? That's a good one. That's, That's a good. One. Okay, a Rooney. This is a sleeper pick, but mine is Russell Westbrook when he was getting interviewed by that young reporter. Like, oh, like I love the the way you play acrobatic with some moves, and he was like, "What? Like, who are you?" But we gotta keep you around. But Russell Westbrook with that meme, just kind of like making a face to the reporter that was being super positive to him um, when he was kind of just feeling down on himself while he was on the Lakers is my sleeper meme of the year. Man, I thought both of y'all were going to pick the the Pat Bev pointing at the camera one, so mm -hmm. I didn't pick that one. So I went with Bones Highland when he was staring at the mm -hmm. camera after that crazy jelly layup, and he's just laying there just looking at the camera like... Another one that I thought about was the Shannon Sharp meme that blew up after oh, the ooh. incident with the Lakers. And it's that's, the that's a winner right there. I think that's, that's it. The LeBron after the foul, he's just like this. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I've never seen a flip out before like that. All right. So next topic, we're going to talk about the best and worst fits of the year. Um, I'll start us off for the worst fit. Dylan Brooks, easy choice for the Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, fit. That one, my guy was just trying to go viral one time. And D Dylan Brooks, just the worst fit of, of this past regular season. Man, I think this is the all hate uh, Dylan Brooks podcast, it seems like. <laughs> um, but that was my pick too, but a different outfit. You know, he had a he had an outfit with a bucket hat on, long white sleeve shirt, black shorts, and <laughs> some black shoes. And you could tell that he was just trying too hard. Kyle Kuzma said, hold my beer. When he wore that Missy Elliott fit, worst fit right there. All right, so, so now who do you think has the best fit? I'm going to go with uh, Shea. Um, well, I'm going to go with... The backcourt of the Thunder, um, they both showed out um, during All-Star Weekend with the Magic Johnson fur coat. So I think, you know, that's how you make a statement. I'm going to go with uh, another sleeper pick. I'll link you all to this right here. But 
Uh, Dane Lillard just pulled up out of nowhere with the Oakley shades. I don't even know how to describe this one, but I, I know Dennis Rodman, I want to say, wore this uh, yeah. during the championship parade. I'm going to shut it down right now. When LeBron wore the all-black suit when he broke the scoring record, you cannot <laughs> tell me that was not the best fit of the season right there. Yeah, as soon as he pulled up, you saw him in the tunnel walk. We all knew. It was like, all right. Already he knew. Already knew. Already knew. The record. Like, imagine going home and not getting a record. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're reusing that suit. You need it. 